Tom Kiffin. And looks like the snow continued up in the Copper Country today. Definitely. What we're looking at is a time lapse of the Michigan Tech webcam, and this is in the afternoon hours. This is supposed to be College Avenue, Bucca, and you can barely see it. The lift bridge, as you know, would be in the distance. Can't even see that as well. And the Copper Country was in and out of lake effect snow, including Houghton. As we move this into time here, you can see just the lake effect snow still coming down. We're at evening here. You can see the lights coming on there, and you can see the lake effect snow still heavy but even into the evening hours there's your break i wanted to show you but you know you got the break there but as we went later on into the evening here the lake effect snow just came right on back here and we're still looking at some good lake effect snow in the copper country 906 weather watcher photos we do have some of those here marianne taylor sunset yesterday in nema and you can see the sun winter sunset going right right through the trees some snow on the ground there thanks marianne for sending that in and this is the near whiteout conditions i posted on the 906 weather watchers page from houghton earlier on this evening and then joe newbrower sent this in from lunnington park yesterday here and she said that they did have snow flurries and gray skies yesterday but bright beautiful sunshine for today and then also marianne uh, measured the uh, snow drift of two feet here i'm going through these kind of quickly here kev this morning blusterly 26 degrees but he said they had the wind this morning and that was the big story this morning was just the cold wind definitely put a bite into the air this morning thank you for all our 906 weather watchers for sending those photos in if you'd like to send yours in we'd love to see it and we'd love to show it off on the news during local three news all right let's fire up max one here lake effect snow Continuing in the Copper Country, continuing also in parts of the eastern UP here. You can see we do have some lake effect snow in Elger County here from Dearton over towards Shelter Bay and Christmas and then over towards Munising. If you're underneath one of these snow bands, you definitely know it here. And these snow rates could add up just a little bit more if you're in the heavier bands here. I'm not looking at much in the way of additional accumulation for the rest of the night, but if you're driving through one of these snow bands, you can look at pretty much sharply reduced visibility. Speaking of sharply reduced visibility, this is one heck of a snow band here out in the open waters of eastern Lake Superior and then cutting down to just east of Newberry, pretty much right over to Quantum Falls. And that could be push, that could be lowering the visibility rates as well here. So just be aware of that if you got travel plans between Newberry and Paradise along M123. All right, winter weather advisories for lake effect snow continue east of Marquette and also in the Copper Country. And as we look at future snowfall, you can see the numbers adding on up here in the Copper Country through tomorrow afternoon, potentially another three to six inches of snow and then some snowfall accumulation as you go into the eastern UP. Wind chills right now, definitely Definitely down there. Look at Ironwood. We have a wind chill of 22 below zero. Temperatures right now, four below in Ironwood, nine in Lance, nine downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard. And like I said, we got the wind chills that are down there. Officially today at the Weather Service, 29 was the high, six the low, and that was their 10 o'clock temperature. Three things to know here. We are looking at very cold temperatures with lake effect snow and wind continuing as we go through tonight. Here's your future wind chills. They're going to be down there tonight, perhaps as low as 20 below in some parts of the U.S or slightly colder, especially as you go inland west of Marquette. Eventually, the lake effect snow gets confined to locations in the Copper Country and also in locations in the eastern UP. Basically, M28, Cine Stretch, northward as we go into Tuesday. Very cold tonight and even into Tuesday. Some snow returns for Thursday for all of the UP, and then we could potentially see some plowable snow Friday night on into Saturday. Community forecast, single digits for the Copper Country tonight with lake effect snow. Very cold in the interior west with lows falling below zero. And then as we go into the south central UP, a very cold night. Lake effect snow here in the eastern UP, and it could be heavy that may cut down on the visibility. And then in and around Marquette County, we'll see temperatures tonight range from 10 along the immediate Marquette Lakeshore to below zero as you go inland. For Marquette itself tonight, some lake effect snow showers may continue, but most of it stays east of Marquette. Cold tomorrow, moderation in temperatures for Wednesday, some snow for Thursday, and then some late day snow Friday night on into Saturday, and that could be a little heavy. Cold tonight for Escanaba and Gladstone and then remaining cold tomorrow, rain or snow, temperatures back above freezing starting Thursday, and then we'll either see some late day rain or snow Friday on into Saturday.